I was actually shocked to see that a lot of fans, especially Australian fans, prefer Tim Zhu taking on Sebastian Fandora than Tim Zhu versus Keith Thurman, despite the fact that Sebastian Fandora lost his last fight. So it's going to be for the 154-pound WBC, the vacant title, formerly Charlo's, and the WBO title that Tim Zhu currently has. And I can say this is the most meaningful fight of his career at this point in time. Fandor is a tough test. But if you want more details on that fight, me and Big J from Australia did a in-depth 37-minute video on Tim Zhu, Keith Thurman, Tim Zhu versus possibly Terrence Crawford, if he beats Fandora and both of their resumes. Um, that's a couple of videos before this. But what I want to talk about is the whole card and how I feel that PBC on Prime is really stumbling out of the gate. Now, of course, this is their first inaugural event. So it's been a disaster for them that uh, Keith Thurman has been injured via bicep. In fact, let me pull that up here from his Instagram because he did post proof of the injury and right now i'm just calling him you ever see the uh m night Shalaman movie mr glass that's how i view keith thurman like he can't do nothing without some type of injury popping up you know this is what he posted you know i'm not reading all that you can read it yourself but basically yeah he's injured and then he did a video as I already know, uh, hold on, my bad. Let me fix the sound real quick for you before we see uh, Tim Zhu and Fedora uh, face off. Here you go. Bicep tendon snapped. I saw the doctor today. We talked about the surgery. We're going to try to get it uh, done next week. The sooner the better uh, so that we can actually start healing, recovering, and then uh, put ourselves back into the beautiful sport of boxing. So very unfortunate. I apologize to... Uh, everyone who was really looking forward to this competition who was in my corner trying to support me thank you so much for all the love you guys have been sharing over the past few days it has been rough uh it's never easy for a competitor to step out of competition especially when we were two weeks out five pounds to go working and rolling hard man uh, i apologize to zoo you wanted to punch me i wanted to punch you uh hopefully in the future we can still make that happen some way somehow baby but uh, best of luck to the fight. Best of luck to Fendora. Everybody still support and enjoy the show. God bless. So the pay-per-view is going to be $69.99 on Amazon Prime. Um, through Amazon Prime. And I believe, let me check my cable right now. I believe you can buy it through your cable. I hope it's not like a, uh, like a, um, oh, he's about to face off with Fendora. I hope it's not like UFC well, you have directly in the States, you have to directly buy through ESPN plus. Oh, here's the face off. Let's go full screen. Look at that. Check that out on any given day or fight. Sebastian Fendor is a different size, according to broadcasters. Like the six foot nine and a half Sebastian Fendora, six foot seven, six foot six. He's always some different height. The six foot 13 towering inferno. But yeah, look, oh, look at all that body right there. Look, this is where Tim Zoo needs to focus. Get all this shit. But, you know, he can't open himself up to lunging. But, however, one thing about uh, Sebastian Fandora is for his height, he tends to fight on the inside way too much. And for a guy with those long arms and that height, you would think that he would be working to be a jabber. But, nope, he wants to hang in the pocket. And I think that despite his intimidating size, because, my gosh, look at that. You know, this is at 154 pounds, by the way. You know, the dude is massive. You know, massive. So it's a tall test for Tim Zhu. But we're not here to talk about that fight. We're here to talk about the card and the uh, pay-per-view. Oh, let's finish the face-off. While I'm looking to see if they're playing, uh, if it's on cable, I have to fast-forward the days on my cable here. It's a huge height. Let's see what we have on Saturday. I'm trying to get you the information here in the States if you can buy through your cable and satellite providers. That's what I'm doing now. So I got to fast forward through the guide all the way up to next Saturday. And see how much it costs on cable. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yep, it is. It's on cable. So it is on cable $69.99. And of course, you can buy through Amazon Prime. Okay, let's go check out the uh, PBC page and how they're promoting the fight. So here it is. Let's see. You can buy live on pay-per-view. You can buy on Prime. Boom. There it is on Prime. As you can see. They even have uh, I haven't seen this yet. I got to watch this. Their first uh, shoulder content uh, for the fight. 
Me personally, despite how good the card being, I just don't think it's going to do any major numbers. I think it's going to flop like crazy, uh, but it's not Tim Zoo's fault. But the fact that you're putting Tim Zoo versus Sebastian Fandora on pay-per-view uh, is, you know, the headline in the pay-per-view, Tim Zoo is an Australian man. Tim Zoo is Australian. Fandora lost his last fight and they're putting it on pay-per-view. So let me go through each and every fight on the card and give my predictions real quick here. I got Tim Zoo via stoppage. Um, I would not be surprised if Endora puts up a better fight uh, than he has. I mean, than people expect for him to. Uh, I think Isak Cruz is going to battle Roly Romero. Here's the thing. Roly Romero is a highly confident fighter, and he can, like, he can bang. He can bang. Iris Lindy Lara versus Mick Zarafa is a very interesting fight. Iris Lindy Lara seems like he's been around forever. This is for the WBA title, 160 pounds. The full WBA title. Do not be surprised, despite Mick Zarafa's bad f few years, if uh, he beats Iris Lindy Lara, setting up a potential fight with Tim Zhu versus Mick Zarafa in the future. Of course, this will be if Tim Zhu versus uh, Crawford doesn't happen and Tim Zhu would beat Fendora, of course. Then you have the pay-per-view opening up with uh, Julio Cesar Martinez taking on Angelino Cordova. And then Brian Mendoza in the uh, prelims is going to be taking on Sergei Bahachok for the WBC interim. So right now, the WBC is going to have three champions. Jamel Charles, is the champion in recess. The winner of Tim Zhu versus Sebastian Fandora will be unified WBC and WBO. And then you have Brian Mendoza versus Sergei Bahachok, who's going to be the uh, interim champion. And how it works is the winner of Tim Zhu versus Sebastian Fandora will have to fight Jamel Charlo if Jamel Charlo says so, being the champion in recess. And then the interim will come after that. Just, you know, just, you know, bullshit. You know, Charlo should have been stripped or dropped the belt. Champion in recess, you know, bullshit. And how is Fandora and Tim Zhu fighting for a vacant belt? But me and Big J already talked about that. But as far as Roly Romero versus Isak Cruz, is that 140 pounds, by the way? Shout out to uh, Isak Cruz. Okay, where is my uh, rankings at here? I had him pulled up here. Hold on. Give me one minute. And as far as Keith Thurman is concerned, it's just, you know, it's a sad situation. But the man's going on 36 years old. You know? The poor fella's going on 36 years old. And it's hard to have faith in him when you want to put him in a big fight and then he might get injured. This is injured. This is the first big major event for PBC on Prime. And look, they're stumbling out of gates. By the way, Here's how the pay-per-views are supposed to look. It's supposed to be, uh, you know, like to have one about each month now. It's supposed to be Zoo versus um, uh, Fandora. Then Canelo versus, uh, there's no April pay-per-view because this one's at the end of the month. Then Canelo versus uh, Jaime Munguia in May. And then the June pay-per-view. Wait a minute, is it June or July? I believe it's June. The June pay-per-view. We could see Tank Davis versus Frank Martin. Um, David Benavidez versus uh, Uluzenda Volzdik. Demetrius Andre versus David Morrell. And Jose Venezuela versus uh, Edwin uh, De Los Santos. That's a very, very powerful and good card. Of course, I would have Tank Davis beating Frank Martin. I would have uh, Benavidez stopping. Um, uh, Vozdik late. Mm, anytime after round seven, I see Vozdik getting stopped maybe sooner. Six. Demetrius Andre versus David Morrell, if it happens, is a very good fight. I still have some faith in uh, Demetrius Andre, but I will pick David Morrell and then Rayo to beat uh, Santos. That's how I would have it. And then July, we could see Tim Zoo versus Terrence Crawford. With possible Caleb Plant and uh, Jamal Charlo on the uh, undercard. So that's that's the rumors that are circulating around for those pay-per-views. Uh, the PBC ones. But overall, if I was to rate this card, a scale of 1 to 10. See, here's the thing. The problem is it's a pay-per-view. It shouldn't be a pay-per-view, but I get it. You know, but... Pay-per-view wise, he, okay, let me rate the card from a scale of 1 to 10. I'm giving it an 8. 
Mendoza versus Bob Chuck is an interesting fight. Laura versus Arafa can headline a regular Showtime card or any card, non pay per view. Rula Romero, Isa Cruz, PBC, knowing them, they 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 would have made if this was last year, that would have been a pay per view. But that can headline his own card. Tim Zufendor can headline his own card. So you have these fights, and look, you have a uh, a uh, 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 six titles on the line here in this in this card. Six titles on the line. But it's just going. I just don't see it doing any more than sixty thousand pay per view buys. That's my number. I'd be surprised 50. Now, over in the over in Australia, um, they're going to eat this up. They're going to eat this up. Here, let me pull it up. This, how much is this card over there? They're going to eat it up over there. They buy anything over in Australia. They be putting all kind of mess on pay-per-view. $69.95, the same price over here. Zoo versus Fandora. Look, they got UFC cheaper. That's pretty wild. That's pretty nuts. With that being said, take your time out. Like the video, subscribe. I'm uh, T Street Controversy. We will be here for uh, full card coverage next week.